Story 5. The Symphony of Friendship. In a charming coastal town, where the sea met the sky, stood a small yet reputable hospital. It was a place where lives were saved, and hearts were mended every single day. My name is Olivia, and I have been a nurse at this hospital for the past 11 years. During my time here, I have been a part of many heartwarming stories, but there is one that resonates deeply within my soul. It is a tale of courage, friendship, and the harmonious symphony of human connection. One crisp autumn day, a young boy named Benjamin was admitted to our hospital. He was suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, which had left him weak and struggling to breathe. Benjamin, a bright and curious child, was a gifted violinist who had been performing since the tender age of five. His passion for music was unmistakable, but his illness had left him unable to play his beloved instrument. As Benjamin's nurse, my responsibility was to provide him with the best possible care and support during his stay at the hospital. I would often sit by his bedside, listening intently as he spoke about his love for music and his dreams of becoming a professional violinist. Despite his weakened state, Benjamin's eyes would light up when he discussed his favorite composers and the emotions their music evoked. One day, while rummaging through a storage closet, I stumbled upon an old violin that had been left behind by a former patient. As I held the instrument in my hands, I was struck by a sudden idea. I would bring the violin to Benjamin and, together, we would fill his room with the sweet melodies that he so dearly missed. The following day, I presented the violin to Benjamin, his face lighting up with joy and disbelief. I helped him sit up in bed, and as he carefully positioned the instrument under his chin, he began to play. The sound that filled the room was nothing short of magical. It was as if the very air around us had come alive with the beauty and emotion of his music. Word quickly spread throughout the hospital about the young violinist and his enchanting performances. Patients and staff members alike would gather outside his room, their faces alight with wonder as they listened to Benjamin's symphony of hope and healing. As the days passed, Benjamin's health began to improve. His doctors attributed his remarkable recovery, in part, to the joy and sense of purpose he had found through playing the violin. With each note he played, Benjamin seemed to grow stronger, his spirit more vibrant and alive. Eventually, Benjamin was discharged from the hospital, his dreams of becoming a professional violinist firmly intact. He left behind a legacy of music and friendship that would continue to resonate within the hearts of all those who had been touched by his symphony. And so, dear reader, I share with you this heartwarming story of a young boy named Benjamin and the healing power of music in friendship. As a nurse, I have learned that sometimes, the most potent medicine is not found in a pill or an IV drip, but in the simple act of connecting with another human being and sharing the passions that unite us.